culture over there. And they're going to destroy ours too. What do you think the television is when you turn it on? It's designed to screw you up. Now, they wouldn't accept a devil culture like that with all the, you know, mommies kissing and all the rest of it to screw up kids. So they go with the extreme form of Islam, which is just as destructive. And that's the plan. That's how they work. And now no one can, when you say 9-11 is an inside job, you go, look, the London Guardian, Al-Qaeda turns tide for rebels in battle in eastern Syria. Western backing them. That's the folks blowing up stuff. Uh, suicide bombers, you name it. Uh, new spin, attack Syria to fight Al-Qaeda. NATO powers help put Al-Qaeda fighters in Syria in first place. Fake newscasts, fake photos. Asia Times, German intelligence, Al-Qaeda all over Syria. All right, we're going to go to break and come back. Uh, the toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. I haven't even gotten into good news all over the country. We'll cover that with Richard Reeves after calls. Voters reject transportation tax in Georgia and Atlanta. Good job. David Dewhurst, the big CIA guy that stopped the TSA being blocked in Texas. Even with electronic fraud, he even gave a victory speech. He lost to Cruz. And Cruz isn't per perfect, but he talks like Alex Jones. People listen to it and they go, my God, that's like Alex Jones. Yeah, the problem is there's two different people there. But hey, he's better than <laughs> Dewhurst. So now we got to defeat that Democrat who's total globalist. Uh, so we've uh, got all that. And, and I got more news. Like all the old Republicans are getting thrown out. So go on TV, Republicans, and tell us to turn our guns in. Okay? Please. Alex Jones. All right, we're into hour number two. All over the country, neocons are being defeated or thrown out of office. That's a good sign. We're going to talk about that in 30 minutes with Richard Reeves with the Cruz Dewhurst race that came to an end yesterday in the runoff for the U.S. Senate. Uh, we've got ABC News uh, to run a docudrama demonizing militias. I'm going to break that down as well. Uh, we've got just a huge amount of news. Obama launching a new massive snooping plan called biosurveillance. That is just some of what's uh, coming up. Senate cybersecurity bill mirrors Russian internet agenda. Uh, yeah, total tyranny. Good job, Daily Caller, actually engaging in some real news reportage. Uh, so we're going to be going over all of that. But let's go with your phone calls right now. Uh, but mainly, if you just joined us, talking about the West openly funding Al-Qaeda, to attack Syria, and now it's in the mainstream news everywhere. And the media is like, well, Al-Qaeda is good. And, and they're like, oh, Al-Qaeda isn't going to attack us anymore. The, the uh, State Department and FBI are saying, don't worry about them. The new threat is white people and then anybody else that likes freedom. <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk to Nick in Connecticut. Nick, you're on the air. Welcome. How you doing, Alex? Well, I'm and the government says I'm the number one terrorist, so I'm not doing I thought Al-Qaeda was bad, but I'm I'm... I'm I'm a bad man. Oh, yeah, you're definitely worse than Al-Qaeda. Um, have you ever heard of a program called the uh, Citizens Volunteer Corps? Yes, that's part of Secure Corps, started by Bill Clinton, expanded in 2001, and now rolling out nationwide as a subsidiary of Homeland Security Corps, under that FEMA Corps, and then there is Secure Corps, which is the Volunteer Corps, yes. Yes, sir, yeah. My, my girlfriend received a letter from the Manchester, Connecticut Police Department the other day, and... Uh, basically stating that a member of the Citizens Volunteer Corps uh, watched her run a stop sign or roll through a stop sign. So she got this big letter. I had no idea about this program. but Yeah, I, in, I the future, in the future, they'll, uh, you know, bushwhack you, basically. Yeah, they're just, and again, it's not to fight Al-Qaeda. It's just minders. Like, you, like they're going to dig through your trash, it's being announced, uh, to see if you're recycling properly. Uh, basically, every scumbag nobody is now going to be in your face. Every weirdo, control freak, mildly mentally retarded, that's who they like to hire, is now going to be given absolute supreme power to run absolutely wild over your life. Yeah, I mean, DHS, in my opinion, has no, no business uh, worrying about traffic safety. and uh... Uh, Brother, they are they are hiring. Every dentist my dad knows are trying to to spy on their their, uh, their, cu their customers, their patients. I mean, this is beyond the Stasi in East Germany. This is pure... 200 proof tyranny. Uh, why don't you scan that and email it to showtips at infowars.com? Uh, we would like to make that a news story. Okay, I, I did scan it and I want to send it to you. What's the address again there? 
I'm going to put you on hold and I'm going to, uh, uh, Chris, give him your email and give him Kurtz and CC it to everybody. Okay, brother? Thank you. Why don't you read us the letter? Tell me what you were, you were witness. You're, you're being watched, buddy. The, this, the, you know, the good little Secure Corps person saw you. Of course, we should all report on them. Hey, we have a terrorist government ships guns to Mexico. Hey, we have a terrorist government giving billions to their buddies and no bid contracts. Hey, we have a hey, hey, I saw a cop speeding without his lights on. Hey, I, I mean, it's you know, let's get in their face. That's what I'm telling you. That's why the new rollout is the terrorists are everywhere. We're them, so that we're all looking at each other instead of the real terrorists, the stage 9/11 that are running the government. So, I mean, tell me, what did they say about you? Uh, they basically just stated that, uh, you know, a member of this Citizens Volunteer Corps uh, observed, it was actually my girlfriend, observed her rolling through a stop sign. And then, you know, I guess they, they sit in designate, designated locations with a pen and paper in their phone, and then they report traffic violations, like little little volunteer police. And then, uh, you yeah, know, why don't they uh, go report on the CPS uh, being pedophiles nationwide? And murdering and hurting children, oh, they wouldn't want to do something real. Well, you know, they're just, they always prime the pump. They did this in England 10 years ago. Now it's for everything. They get you first with little stuff like this. Next, they're going to be in your garbage. And let me tell you, there's nothing worse than one of these nobodies on a little snitch power trip for this criminal occupational government. These people are Nazi collaborators and enemies of this country. Some breaking news here, and then I'm going right back to your calls. Thank you for joining us on this Wednesday, first day of August, 2012 edition. I am Alex Jones, your host. We've got some breaking news here. About five years ago, the federal government, and this is happening in other nations, began funding senior citizen homes where there's cameras watching them. Uh, these are retirees, not folks that are even ill. And then what they eat is monitored by smart refrigerators and other appliances. That's all hooked to smart meters that control the temperature in your house. And they've admitted this is the model of the new country. Just like uh, uh, Germany's past laws where no new single family homes can be built. You've got to live in government dormitories. And now New York is getting ready to adopt this. Uh, just like they're announcing what you can eat, what you can do. They're announcing if, you, if the owner of a company doesn't agree with their political agenda that you won't be allowed to have businesses in their cities, a.k.a. Chick-fil-A. They're arresting people that criticize Olympic athletes mildly on Twitter in England. This is the new authoritarianism. But it's all done for your safety and your own good, of course, as all authoritarian systems are. Now, all over the world, they're building with taxpayer money Things like Formula One, billions and billions, you know, the, the Cowboy Stadium paid for by citizens, what, $1.2 billion? Here in Austin, hundreds of millions of tax incentives over the next decade, tens of millions of free money. Uh, we're actually paying for a multi-billionaire Formula One guy who's so rich he gives $3 billion to this daughter, $2 billion to that daughter. They own the biggest houses in the U.S. And if I don't pay my property taxes, they will come and auction my house, and then if I don't leave, they will send a SWAT team and they will kill me. They will kill me to take my money and give it to a guy from England, a gangster, so his daughters can have $3 billion a year. Just, oh, here, honey, here's $3 billion, here's $2 billion for you. You know, uh, and, and again, this is the model. This is the insider choosing the winners. Now, tens of billions of taxpayer money has been given to companies like Solyndra to build nothing. But the old Robert Mueller Municipal Airport is right in the middle of Austin, and they have turned part of it into a movie studio. The other part is an emergency FEMA center uh, that I got footage of uh, 10 years ago. It's still there with bolts and chains in the floors and barbed wire inside hangers. Then they have the emergency FEMA center right next door. In fact, if you're watching at prisonplanet.tv, we'll show you a bird's eye view of Austin. Uh, right now, CJ had it queued up where it'll zoom right in on Mueller. There we go. And you zoom right in on Mueller, uh, the old airport, and uh, they have got the emergency management system, the Austin Film Society, and then all around it, the new smart community inviting people into the barbed wire fence enclosure, giant concentration camp, that's what it is, identified by us 12 years ago. Uh, well, I used to be able to just walk right in there, jump on a Southwest flight and fly to Dallas in 30 minutes back in the old days. No security, no nothing. That was that was fun in college. I could go see family or an old girlfriend or whatever, just jump on the aircraft and visit Dallas. Not anymore. That was in the old republic. But what am I getting at here? Oh, this is a, 
a big report here out of uh, Chevrolet. They've uh, put this out. Uh, 2012 Chevrolet Volt becomes centerpiece of smart community. And they're setting them up everywhere at these FEMA camp reservation zones. See, these are going to be things you want to come to. Oh, you get to live, and they say everything you do is tracked. Cameras in the home, all the appliances tracking you. It's right here in the news. While Chevrolet made 100 volts available, only 55 of the community residents took advantage of the various tax credits, including 7,500 federal tax credit and 7,500 rebate from Pecan Street on their vault purchases. Those leasing the vault for three or more years receive 3,000 rebate. But you've got to live in this special little area with the big 20-foot barbed wire fences with the Homeland Security Center. Mm. We're going to send uh, reporters over there in the next few days. Of course, we're enemies. We won't be allowed in. We're, we're the terrorists. Uh, Pecan Street is funded by a $10.4 million grant from the Energy Department and more than $14 million in matching funds from Project Partners. Oh. Although Pecan Street oversees a consortia, it includes researchers from the University of Texas. Yeah, they're practicing by the mile to travel there. The National Renewable Energy Laboratory and the Environmental Defense Fund. Yeah, they're the folks that help get you new taxes locally. It's housed the University of Texas at Austin. Besides the vault, residents will use smart appliances in conjunction with home management systems and electric uh, meters, smart electric meters, energy storage, and optimizes the use of solar power, clean energy distribution, and green building construction. So you live in a prison. It's the government reservations. Oh, come on in. Everything's free. Ha <laughs> ha. It's like, you know, the Roach Motel's got to smell the roaches like, hey, come on in. Oh, you're not getting out, are you? Isn't that just special? And it goes on to talk about how everything you do is true. Oh, it's so goody good. And of course, what's it really part of? Washington's new massive snooping plan, biosurveillance. They say all, because Google got caught doing this for them. It's really NSA front. They got caught snooping on everybody. And uh, uh, Google got caught with those little antennas stealing your passcodes and hacking your computer. They didn't get in trouble, though, national security. Well, now the post office vehicles and others, private ones, they're saying taxis, are going to have cameras, face scanners, everything. And if your business ties these in, then you're going to get a tax break. See, they're going to gauge the economy where if you don't accept all this, including a chip, you're not going to live. You're not going to have a business. And, and Ray Kurzweil and others talk about this. They say, well, at first you'll be able to live in a reservation, a ghetto. But then we're going to split off from you and you, and we'll be so advanced, we'll just you know, get rid of you. And that's the official UN plan. Uh, of course, that's all the idiots uh, who serve the system thinking they're going to be allowed to live. They're going to uh, release the mutagenic chimera cross-species weapons that they admit killed 99% of those that come in contact with the old generations of them. All of you listening that serve this will die if this goes forward. I know you don't believe me now, but maybe then, after the survivors, you will remember and save these transmissions if we're unable to stop this. Because this is the plan. You're living in a science fiction movie, boys and girls. So, uh, Obama, here's World Net Daily. Washington's new massive snooping plan, biosurveillance, scan and discern the environment, integrate and identify essential information, alert and inform decision makers, forecast and advise impacts. With, with these snorkel snoops, state, local, federal, tribal governments, private sector, non-governmental